welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Kristen I am traditionally a mommy vlogger or lifestyle um, vlogger channel whatever you want to call it just give you a heads up before you get started um, but I just stopped in at the Dollar Tree and I spent like $30 but I got a bunch of like super cute Christmassy stuff a lot of it is for my kids stockings and I just thought I'd share it with you guys I know y'all love a good Dollar Tree haul I can't I can't with my hair today it's like I don't know what we're doing, so my apologies. My apologies, my apologies. We can't figure it out. Let's see if we can get a thumbnail picture really quickly before we get into this. I'll crop this out so you don't gotta watch. Perfect. Maybe I'll leave that in. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. They had these super cute, like outside yard sticks. I don't know what you wanna call it, right? Like it's a decoration for outside. And I was looking at stuff similar to this at Walmart but they went like you know close to five to ten dollars and I was like I just can't bring myself to spend that much for something that's going to be outside and it's going to get snowed on and rained on and like who knows how long it's going to last right but they have these and I thought they're so stinking cute and they kind of match each other so this one is season's greetings it's a penguin in an rv like i said yardstick right like they go i mean it's not your traditional measuring yardstick but it's a sign on a stick that goes in the yard so yardstick <laughs> But how cute and then they had this one also a penguin with glitter all over it and i just thought these would be super cute outside together in my little like flower bed area in the front of my house moving on we have two boxes of kool-aid flavored candy canes anybody else loving the fact they've got so many different flavors of candy canes nowadays and it's not always just peppermint uh <laughs> <laughs> so I got Kool-Aid flavor. Each one came with six candy canes per, so 12 in total. Sorry, I'm getting the burps. Um, they also had one that was hot cocoa flavored, and I almost bought it, but I was like, I don't know if anybody's gonna eat it. I mean, half the time these don't really get ate in either either. Like some of them will get ate, but not all of them. So like I don't know why I buy so many. <sighs> And then I found these adorable tumblers. They had three of them. I only got two. Um, I tried to get things that are going to be, like, more useful year-round, you know. And the red one was just super Christmas. The green is very Christmas, too, but it says let it snow on it with snowflakes all over it. Um, the red one said something very, very Christmassy. So, I wanted something. I mean, like, it snows. I'm in Indiana, right? Like, mid-central. And so, we get a lot of lake effect snow. And so... You know, it hasn't started snowing yet, but anywhere between well, now through March or April, <laughs> you know, it could snow and we can get a lot of it. So like something that says let it snow is like, you know, seasonally appropriate from now until like early spring. Um, and then it's got this little thing here so you can pull it back and you can either drink out of that hole or you can put a straw in it. And I mean, well, I'd like to say, you know, and being a mom, I can just close it and like nobody will spill it, but like I'm gonna drink it with a straw. So I'm not gonna be able to do that with a straw in it. And so, you know, my kids could still spill it. But um, if you don't have reusable straws or you just don't like straws, like you got that option. If you got little kids, you can just close it in between. And so if they like knock it off a table, it won't make a mess in theory. And then they had this one, which it says, merry and bright which is a very christmasy saying but as you can see like this tumbler is just very 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 pearlescent and it's just hard to read like i know i've got quite a bit of sunlight shining in that's kind of reflecting um but even without that <laughs> it's kind of hard to read it so i feel like this is just gonna be like a year-round cup because it's kind of hard to make out the letters and read it but i just thought it was super pretty pearlescent so moving on uh, i got my oldest boy a hairbrush and comb y'all my combs and hairbrushes disappear all the time like I don't even know what my kids do with them they both like to run off with them and if you're new here I've got a four-year-old and a one and a half year old and if a brush gets left out it disappears <laughs> they gotta get put in a very sp specific spot I got two of these for the kids there's a green one floating around Ira just learned how to use a straw the other day teach him with a slushie I tell you what because um you know slushies you start them off you get the first string and the slushies stay in the straw so like they get that instant gratification i need to make a whole video on how to teach your kid how to use a straw we did the same thing with my oldest boy because like they'd get the sucking motion like they understand that but they wouldn't get the instant gratification of getting the drink because they'd only get it so far up and then they'd quit sucking on it and then they get mad um same issue with both kids and then i gave them both a slushie and they're like oh this is how it works because they get like the instant gratification because the slushie sticks in the straw anyway <laughs> 
got them both one of these it's got a curly straw on the inside how stinking cute is that and then it's got the straw piece here at the top and then of course a santa scene all the way around here's the other one so i got a green one and a red one and then i got some cookie or no this one's blueberry muffins because they're a dollar and a lot of times you find these at like walmart or the regular grocery store and they've gone up in price like i remember as a kid these were always super cheap and now out in town like they're not so we don't buy them often but when i pop into the dollar tree i like to pick some up because they're yummy and delicious and i don't mind them for a dollar and they're an easy quick breakfast for the kids because they're so healthy okay i got both of the boys a chocolate santa the other one's floating around here probably in the other bag um and that's for their their christmas stockings and then i got them each um a spongebob kebab they're gummy snacks. I always thought these were so nasty as a kid, but my husband likes them and my oldest boy likes them. He thinks they're funny. So I got one for each of them, but like, I think they're gross. I don't know why anybody likes eating those. Okay, hopping into bag number three, we have more stocking stuffers. Woo, more combs. We have more combs. I forgot to pick that up. Um, so, you know, as my combs start to disappear, cause I had a giant pack like this and my husband uses them and then my oldest boy uses them. And now my one year old has enough hair to start using them and they just disappear. I don't even know where half of them end up. And my husband has like a coarse beard hair and he'll use these to comb out his beard. And sometimes the, like the tongs on them or whatever you call it, they like break or get bent weird. So they get used a lot plus my dog got a hold of one the other day and chewed it so uh, like i said we just going through combs like crazy over here but i got one for each of the boys i thought they were super cute they're just glittery antlers so one for each stocking and then oh, i got this for myself i forgot and it's still cold because they, they have like a little refrigerated section i can't talk blah, blah, blah. um it's a peach peace tea in just peachy and this stuff is delicious oh i love it if you've not had peace tea yet, you need to try it. Mm. So good. Oh my gosh. I see on Amazon you could get this stuff. And it was like, you know, being a dollar tree, everything's a dollar. And on Amazon, you could get a case of this. And I forget how many was in the case. But it ended up being like almost $20. And it made each of these like 2 or $3 a piece. And I'm like, I could just come into the dollar tree and buy 20 of them for $20, you know. But every time I come in here... And they only have one or two on the shelf. So, you know, I, I'm just thankful for what I get. But if I ever come in here and they are fully stocked, I'm going to wipe them out and take it all. So, moving on. They had their spices fully stocked. They used to have a lot of Stone Mill Grill. Now they have Supreme Tradition. Stone Mill Grill, they sell at Aldi a lot. And I love their seasonings. They're super fresh. The Aldi seasonings, like they used to have like these big containers for their spices from Stone Mill Girl. They've shrank them down to like tiny ones and they're like the exact same price, um, which is more than a dollar. They're like two or three dollars. But Dollar Tree has really good spices. And I'm wondering if these Supreme Tradition, I'm wondering if Stone, Stone Mill Grill, I think is what it's called. Maybe it's just called Stone Mill. I'm not sure. Isn't Stone Mill Grill like a restaurant? I don't know. But um, I'm wondering if like they didn't change your name or if it's like not from the same company because like the containers are the exact same shape and the spices taste the same um but i got one garlic salt well i'll take that back because the stone mill garlic salt has a little flex of green in it from the onion um oh no from the garlic what am i talking about it's garlic salt <laughs> it doesn't have onion in it so and this doesn't have any of that but whatever we go through that like crazy um i got some crushed rosemary and it looks super fresh right they're just very bright and vibrant looking um i've been seeing some recipes that i've been wanting to try online they keep calling for rosemary and i don't have any so i went ahead and picked that up i don't know how much i'll use it but we'll see and then they had a garlic pepper seasoning and again it just looks looks super fresh and i've never tried a garlic pepper seasoning but it sounded interesting so we'll give it a go and then chopped chives because I don't know like I I seen a recipe the other day that called for chives and like I don't like fresh chives like I don't want like big bites of fresh chives but I can appreciate the color and I think that having it dehydrated in a spice type of a form um might be a little more mild I might enjoy it better okay on to our last bag here so um they had packs 
two packs of tape for a dollar. Like I just bought a three pack of tape at the Walmart for like four or five bucks. So yeah, this is cheaper. <laughs> and wrapping presents, we're going through it. So here's that other chocolate Santa. My mom always gave me a chocolate Santa in my stocking every year and I'm just like continuing this tradition for my kids. And we've got a, uh, another one of the gummy suckers. Two things of peppermint or bark for mommy because mommy has been good all year and I like peppermint bark and this is like dark chocolate on it. We will try that together in a moment and see if it's worth it. Um, some Christmas socks for my oldest boy. Hopefully they fit him. I'm hoping they're not too big, but I thought they were cute. They got little Santa Claus on them that say ho ho. And a thing of Christmas socks for my baby. The little penguins on them that go on the heel of the sock. That's like, that's technically the front of the sock. So it'll be like that, the heel. And then they had Funfetti sugar cookies for a dollar. And I was like, that looks good. We'll just put that back. We'll just have it on hand. My husband loves Funfetti everything. So I wouldn't be surprised if you don't find those and make them this evening. <laughs> and then I don't got to cook. <laughs> I get all the luxuries of a cookie without having to make them. <laughs> okay, let's try this peppermint bark. See what it looks like. So it's supposed to have dark chocolate on the back side. When I have peppermint bark, it has to have the, the chocolate on it. A Sam's Club, in my opinion, has the best peppermint bark, but I, I've never tried this before, so we'll see. And you got your white chocolate and your chunks of peppermint. So if you've been watching me for a while, you know I've made comments about like not loving peppermint because <laughs> when I was like 21, I had a rough night with some peppermint schnapps. Um, I cannot stand the smell, like peppermint oily type smells, like the Bath and Body Works peppermint, whatever body spray stuff. I can't do it and the um the lotion they have with it like I had a bottle and I used it because it's expensive somebody gifted it to me a couple of years ago and I loved the cooling sensation it had but the smell made me nauseous it's like it has brought back that rough night with peppermint shops um, and I don't typically eat a lot of peppermint stuff either because of it but I still like peppermint bark so it's pretty good I still think Sam's Clubs is better but this is pretty good. The one from Sam's Club has, there's a difference between the two and I'm trying to place it and it's been like over a year since I've had the Sam's Club's one. I think the Sam's Club one has maybe more chocolate on it. I'm not sure. There's just, there's something different about it. Something a little, I mean, they're both good. I still think Sam's Club is better. I think the Sam's Club one probably has more peppermint. I'm not getting as much on here. Which, my whole story about peppermint schnapps you'd think would be a good thing. But, I actually like the extra peppermint flavor on the Sam's Club one. So, I think that might be the big difference. It doesn't have as much peppermint to it. It has a fair amount, but... I'm getting a lot more stronger chocolate flavor than I am peppermint. I mean, you can still taste the peppermint, but it's like a chocolate bar with peppermint, not a peppermint bar with chocolate. <laughs> but still good, still yummy. So the whole reason I even came to the store because I needed egg noodles because I'm doing up a turkey for you guys, showing you guys my turkey recipe. And then I'm going to do a video showing, um, like, things you can do with your leftover turkey meat. One of them is turkey noodles. I know some people have that with Thanksgiving, but I typically make it after Thanksgiving. Anyway, Dollar Tree normally has big bags of egg noodles for a dollar, but, like, mine was out. So, I bought $30 worth of other stuff. <laughs> so, that's going to be it for my video, you guys. I'm going to run off to, I don't know, Walmart or someplace. There's a Dollar General across the street. Do they carry egg noodles? I might go look in there. I'm trying to avoid Walmart. It's insanity right now. This time of year, don't want to be there. So, I'm going to go see if I can find me some egg noodles. Okay, you guys. We are just going to continue this vlog because... I went to Dollar Tree, I found egg noodles, and somehow I spent like $43 on not just egg noodles. I need help. <laughs> that means I just spent like 
60 some dollars between the Dollar Tree and the Dollar General. Yeah. So, let's get started. <laughs> We've got our egg noodles. I bought two packages of them. I really don't, well, I kind of do know how much I spent. Like, I, I get it. Anyways, we'll get, there. we'll get there. So, egg noodles, one for uh, showing you guys how to make egg noodles with leftover turkey meat. And then the other pack for next week when we have actual Thanksgiving. <laughs> so, lots and lots of turkey noodles. Let's see if we can get another uh, little thumbnail here. person walking by probably thinks I'm insane <laughs> or the lady next to me at this point I don't care I've been vlogging for so many years like I just don't, I don't care at least when I'm vlogging in my car and people can see me like I'm over it um next baggie here none of this is overly exciting if I'm being honest I got the Dollar Journal brand foaming carpet cleaner because I ran out I got three animals and they stink the place up sometimes. Let me, let me tell you, my, do, my dog, oh my, story time. 1 a.m., picture it, 1 a.m. <laughs> Cozy in my bed asleep. Dog starts crying because he needs to go outside and potty, so I think. And I'm like, oh, annoying, but at least you let me know, right? No, I open the door of my bedroom and the smell just hits me. I could have knocked, it could have knocked me over. It was awful. He took a steaming pile of <laughs> by my back door and it stunk up my entire house. Awful. And I swear the only reason he was crying to go outside was to get away from the smell of himself. That's the only reason, because he was quiet and then he started crying. I was like, great. So I got up to go take care of him and he'd already done his business, but he was still crying to go out because it smelled so bad. It smelled so bad. My dog had to go outside to get away from himself. It was that bad. Okay. <laughs> like, dear God, it was horrid. Um, so I had to get that cleaned up and I had to like Febreze my entire house. Uh, thankfully... My kids doors were shut and so I didn't get into their rooms but my basement stairwell my back porch my hallway my kitchen my living room my dining room and my bathroom which were all open smelled like dog it was awful the end <laughs> so <clears throat> we needed some more carpet cleaner okay um moving on so here's the fun bag of stuff that racked up my price they had signs out that said 40% off. And so I was looking at stuff and I'm like, oh, that's not bad. I could get it half off. Turns out it was only blue dot items that were half off. But I bought everything anyways. So I got these pants because they looked super comfy. And I just want like some super comfy pants. They were at $12.50. I thought they were going to be half off. They were not. Um, so little little pink on the waistband there. And then they're like joggers. They say queen on the hip. Which is not normally like my thing to wear stuff that says queen on it, but like it's kind of cute. And then the bottom here is cinched in, but the rest of the pants are kind of baggy. So they're like joggers. They just look super comfy. Like we're getting on to winter time and I just want super comfy pants I can put on. I don't think I'm going to wear these out. I think they will probably just be like pajama pants, but they look super comfy. And then they had these leggings that were $10, also not on sale, which I thought that they were. Um, but I really like the Dollar General leggings. Family Dollar has really good ones. Um, they're like a very soft material. This guy is full on staring at me. Oh my God, maybe I care a little bit. And then <laughs> you come down to the bottom here. Let's see how well I can show you guys. Right, it's got like this little cute detail at the ankle. So cute. So just basic black leggings, which you can never have enough of. I don't know about you guys, but like... On average, my leggings last me about six months, and then my thunder thighs rub a hole in them. Um, with exception to my Lularo leggings, I know people love to hate Lularo, and I would personally never work for them. I just want to put that disclaimer out there, but I do have some, and I quite enjoy them. I think they fit amazing. They're opaque. They don't show anything, and normally my Lularos last me like close to two years, which I think is a heck of a deal on leggings. Granted, you're spending $25 if you buy them full price, so like they better. Um, my Lularo consultant puts them on clearance a lot, so I'll get them for like 
anywhere from like five to ten to fifteen dollars um i really try not to buy anything lulu full price because i don't think it's full, worth full price but the leggings do hold up against my thunder thighs however they are not a year-round friendly legging okay like you will die in them if you wear them in summer like booty sweat oh my god but this time of year perfect because it's cold and chilly and they keep me warm anyways um i got some socks they were five bucks i just needed some more socks my i have been working on restaining my vanity my black and white one which my husband and i use as our sock drawers it's got like a bunch of drawers on like six drawers on it so one drawer is his for his socks and one drawer is mine well i've been working on restaining it. it's out in the garage i know story time here and so all of our socks have just been in a pile and some of my like ankle socks like this that are white he has been mistaking for his own my husband has giant size 13 feet okay he is stretching the heck out of my socks like at this point they're his socks now you have lady socks okay enjoy with your giant thir size 13 feet so i need some more socks i literally just bought socks from jc penny if you guys seen that haul when jc my jc penny is going out of clearance out of clearance out they're closing and i did a little jc penny haul i think it might have been in a vlog i don't think it was a dedicated video but i bought in some like fancy pants socks in there because they were on clearance yeah my husband has worn half of them and stretched them out so now he has fancy pants lady socks that were supposed to be for me but um Apparently he can't tell the difference between our socks, between his socks and my socks, right? Like we share his hoodies and apparently we also share my socks. So, you know, marriage. <laughs> so anyway, I got some new socks and my vanity is almost done and I'm not opening those until we have the vanity back in our bedroom and we can sort our socks back out because I'm tired of sharing my socks. So anyways, moving on, I got my son some socks as well because he's gonna love these he loves super mario so you've got luigi and then you've got the mario symbol then you got bowser and then you got the luigi symbol and then you've got super mario and these were five bucks so not bad for like a uh like um what do you call it like not a labeled but like a branded you know like branded everything's more expensive i was looking at dollar general kids pajamas and they were five bucks and then they had batman branded pajamas and they were 12 50 so you guys know what i'm saying so five bucks for the mario socks not bad unless they're in the wrong no tag says five bucks never mind i was gonna say maybe they're on the wrong bin but no and then they had this little face mask i just thought it was super cute for my son for fall it's kid size um he may or may not want to wear it i don't know but he has had the same face mask since the pandemic started. It's a red Paw Patrol one that I made and it's not bad and it's definitely held up, but I thought he might like having one that's like not handmade. Granted he's four and like could care less. He's just excited about having a red Paw Patrol mask. I've made him other ones and he won't wear them. So I don't know, maybe he won't wear that one either, but it also looks small enough that I could wear, I could wear it, that I could put it on my baby. He is a year and a half. Well, he's 18 months. Sorry, not a year and a half, 18 months. And I know you're not supposed to put masks on children who are like infants and babies completely agree and understand but i was talking with my friend who lives in oregon and she said that they've put out a new mandate that says children two and up need to wear a face mask and i don't know if that's going to change anytime soon but with the way this pandemic's going i could definitely see by may when my son turns two um you know if this is still going around that mandate may be here and we may need a face mask small enough for him so i'm not putting one on him anytime soon because i definitely think he's too little and i don't think he'd keep it on at all but um you know if it rolls around his birthday and he has to wear a face mask we'll have one that will fit him because that definitely looks small enough and then they had a good sale on some blistex chapstick which is or I think chapsticks is own brand i don't know you, but i feel like when you say chapsticks it's like a universal like oh you got like a lip balm you know but anyways it is blistex holiday flavored lip balms um i got a sugar plum oatmeal and i got a mary berry i used to wear chapstick all the time but that brand but i feel like it's not very moisturizing it doesn't really soak in it just kind of sits on my lips and makes my lips feel waxy whereas blistex i feel like actually soaks in and moisturizes so i've switched over to blistex but you know dollar tree not dollar tree oh my god <sighs> chapstick brand is normally like a dollar and they get all kinds of fun flavors every season but again, I feel like they just sit on my lips. I don't feel like they really soak in. So I've switched over to Blistex, but Blistex is typically like $1.50 to $2, $1.75, you know? Um, but they had all these for a dollar. So I'm like, oh, these are like the fun seasonal flavors that you get from Chapstick, except they're on Blistex, which I think works better. So 
rant over that's it let's cut over to my original outro and we're just gonna end this video here so thank you so much for watching if you're new hopefully you take the time to check out my channel see if there's anything else you'd like to watch before you subscribe make sure we can be internet friends and if you are one of my internet friends i want to say thank you for hanging out with me and being here i hope to chat with you guys in the comments let me know what you've been finding at your local dollar tree um or you know just any fun seasonal buys you've been getting great lighting right here just highlight that chin that double chin oh yeah. great lighting there <laughs> so anyways thanks for hanging out with me i hope to catch you in the next one Bye bye